together. If you're not married in here, and God is bringing you together with someone, he's not doing it just to be doing it. It's for ministry now. God is bringing people together for ministry. He's bringing people together because he need a work done in the earth. So I like to introduce the son. <laughs> but they are already known to us. The ones that are going to be bringing the word of the Lord this morning. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. That God had joined together for ministry. Uh -huh. It's for ministry. Yes, yes. It's for ministry. Yes, it is. I was told by our Pastor Renee, our first ministry is to our spouse. Say, hey, God. Hey. So I'm glad to introduce to y'all Team Coleman. <laughs> Team Coleman. Yeah. They'll be bringing forth the word this morning. They will be blessing us this morning. However, God has led them to bless us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. See what the Lord has done. Stand to your feet as Team Coleman take their right to play. Amen? Amen. 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 Woo glory, glory. Amen. Y'all show me how to tell for truth. Hallelujah. 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 I'm here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. Yes. First give an to God and the Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior, my King. I just count it a privilege and honor. Yes, yes. To stand before you and with my beloved. Amen. Amen. I honor our pastors. Pleasure, pleasure. Here. Give glory to God. I honor him. Okay. Hallelujah. Come on, Bob. Papers are all disassembled, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. It's a nevertheless thing. Yes. Yes. God is a good thing. God is a good God. Yes, he yes. is. Hallelujah. 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 I want to point your attention um, to uh, 2 Timothy, uh, the third chapter, mm -hmm. the 16th and the 17th verse. All right. Um, I want to say, Sister Cat, you need to get out my stuff. Right. <laughs> nah, that's just how the spirit flows. Yeah, I, we understand. <laughs> but glory to God, hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes, yes. But we're reading from the Amplified Version. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Second Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Hallelujah. From the Amplified Versions, and it reads as such. Every scripture yes, it is. is God breathed, yes. given by his inspiration, uh -huh. and profitable for instruction, for reproof, for conviction of sin, for correction of error, and discipline in obedience, for and for training in righteousness, in holy living in conformity to God's will in thought, purpose, and action. Yes. So that the man of God may be complete mm -hmm. and 
pro proficient, well-fitted, mm -hmm. and thoroughly equipped for every, every good work. Every yeah, good work. every good work. Hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. Yeah. hallelujah. Our, our topic theme this morning is this. Hallelujah. It's, I want you to look to your left and say, equipped, equipped. equipped. For divine alignment. For divine alignment. alignment. Then look to your right. Uh -huh. say, this is our sub Let's get this right. Let's get this right. Let's get this right. Let's get this right. Hallelujah. God is equipping us. He's equipping us. Yes, he is. For divine alignment. Yes, he is. As we look in this passage, the, the Apostle Paul was admonishing, teaching, giving final instructions to Timothy, one of his co-laborers in the gospel. Yes. Hallelujah. So uh, he was encouraging him of what was to come. Yes. And in these being the final days, Paul was in prison and just giving a word to his cohort. His cohort. Uh -huh. And so, so, but... And to relate this, so we here at Flame of Fire Covenant Church, Flame of Fire Ministries Covenant Church, hallelujah, hallelujah, are being equipped. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. Yes. We are being equipped. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are being equipped. And to walk in his purpose. Yes. That's right. To become That's right. disciples of him. That's right. And to, and to make disciples of others. That's right. So That's right. as you walk in this house, yes. we, we, you have in line with our pastor's mission, mm -hmm. yes. vision, mm -hmm. and purpose. Yes. That's right. That's right. It's, it's in line. Yes, it is. So we must be in line like with that. Well, I want to give, we are a part of a puzzle. Okay. Come you on know, here. you have a piece yes. in this puzzle. Yes. Because your puzzle, your position may not be my position, well, but right. you have a piece in the puzzle. Yeah. That's right, so that's right. You, can, you know how you put a, a puzzle together, yeah. and you might miss a piece over here, uh -huh. you might miss a piece over there, uh -huh. but then you say, wait a minute, that don't fit, and that don't fit, okay, but now. this fits. Right okay. here. Okay. So you gotta yeah. fit in where you fit on, where right God is calling right. you right. to be. Right. You gotta get it right. You gotta get it right. You must be in right position because I'm in with God. Because the scripture shows us in 2 Timothy. It says that every scripture is God breathed. So that means God breathes on the word. Yes. Take a deep breath. <sighs> That's like God breathing. You are taking a breath of God. Yeah. And he's yeah. breathing on you. Right. He's calling you forth uh -huh. right now uh -huh. to be in line yes. with him. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we are equipped. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. We've been equipped. Equip means to be prepared. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to be a disciple in this house? You have to follow God. Yes. Right, you have yeah. to surrender yourself yes, unto right. Him. Yes. Because uh, one thing I must realize is that the Bible says that, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Guess what? I'm embracing my new. Hallelujah. So we got to put the past behind us. Hallelujah. So if we're going to align together, I want to give you an example that look at our ushers that come in color sequence every Sunday. They are aligning themselves one to another. It's, it's, it's not in conformity, but they're aligning themselves 
to be in position. Yeah. So where's your place? Yeah. What's your position? That's but right. Where That's everybody right. is, be in the right place. Yeah. Because yeah. we got to get this thing right. Yeah. 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 I don't know what you come to do, but we got to get this right. Yes, we yeah. do. Yes, we do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's profitable for instruction. The scripture says it's profitable. That means it's not advantageous. It's not gain. So it's gain for instruction. That means you are called to teach, to preach, to, to break down the word of God. So when you labor with others, you are, this is what Paul was telling Timothy. He said, you got to teach my people because it's, it's not like going to be church as usual That's right. because it's not going to be a thing where you come into the house. Well, we don't have church as usual here in the right. right. And we right. expect a certain thing when you go up in the house. Right. But, but it's not church as usual. That's right. It's not church as usual. Right. You may be laid out on the floor when you come in here. Yeah. Somebody may touch you and say, What's going on? Come on here. But yeah, here, yeah. God on. is calling you forth. He's driving out everything of your past. Yes. 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 I want to. Uh, it's it's not. And our enemy. Guess what? Our enemy is not the devil. Your main enemy is your past. Uh, what your, the hindrance is in your past, your flesh that that hinders you. So, so if you're going to go forward in God and embrace your new, you got to put the past behind you. That's right. You got to right. put it back behind you. Yeah. Hallelujah. I like that. I like that. Right. Come on here. Come on yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Come on here. I like that. Right. Yeah. So for, uh, for reproof, well, reproof is conviction. Uh -huh. and so it's... So you got to be convinced in this thing. You got to know that you know that you know that you know yeah. that you know that you know yeah. because yeah. God is calling you forth to, to what you know. Yeah. Because right. I'm convinced in my own heart that no matter what nobody else say, I'm convinced in knowing where I'm going. Yeah. Right. I'm convinced in knowing that it's about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I'm convinced in knowing that God wants his purpose out of me. Yes. Yes. He wants his purpose done. So we got to get this thing right. That's right. Let's get it right. So that conviction of sin is where you have made, you've missed the mark. You have made, maybe, miss, sin means to miss the mark. Uh -huh. So you've missed that mark. But you got to come to conviction in your own spirit yeah. to know that when you've messed up, that you pick it back up. Repent and don't stay there. It's just like a baseball player. They don't stop the game. They pick up the ball and keep going. Hallelujah. So you got to keep going. Keep going. Yeah. So correction of error. Well, correction of error is where you might miss it in the spirit. Uh -huh. where, and the Bible says, confess your thoughts one to another. Pray ye one for another that you may be healed. So, so in the aspect is, I might need my brother. Uh -huh. to, to say, I might be missing it in the spirit. Uh -huh. And I need my brother to say, hey, bro, hope, help me. Uh -huh. Pray with me. Because uh -huh. uh, right. I'm missing it right here. Well, so, yeah. or, or our sisters, you know, like our sisters. You go to your sister and say, hey, I need help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, y'all good yeah. about going, going getting my help. Well, but brothers, we need help. <laughs> we need help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't going to go. We all need help. Right. Hallelujah. Yes, we yes. all need help. Yes, we need the strength of the Lord. Yes, because yes. let this mind be in you, which is also oh, in Christ yes. Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, my God. I think we got to do Bobby on the stand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, yes. In discipline, Noel, in discipline, in obedience. <laughs> And training for righteousness. Well, discipline is where you are being corrected. Yep. Okay. It's that aspect of where God is. It's, it's like a track star. We have a track star in our midst. <laughs> well, in our pastor neck. Well, she knows she's almost been to the Olympics. I'm just gonna call it for her. <laughs> but, 
but, but but I'm just I'm just joshing. But in a sense, though, is she's a, she still ran track, whether that's the hundred yard dash, whether that's the two hundred, whether that's the four forty or the four hundred. You got to train to do that. Right. You got to stretch. So because whether you run in a marathon, you got to stretch. So because if not, you're gonna hurt yourself. So you're gonna be. So you got to be disciplined in your walk. You got to be disciplined to know where you're going. And God, you got to get on God's GPS, God's program, because because He's gonna position you in His system. So in training for righteousness. Well, what is that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because it's this. It's in holy living in conformity to God's will in yeah. thought and uh-huh. purpose and in action. Right. So we gotta walk it out. Walk we gotta out. walk yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. We gotta walk it out. Yeah. I don't care what you say. We gotta walk it out. That's right. That's right. That's right. We gotta walk it out. You gotta walk it out. Yeah. You, you know, walk just fight all the distractions that come may on. come your way. Yeah. Come you gotta yeah. walk it out. Yeah. Walk it let's out. get this thing right. Yes, yes. Right. let's get it right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that, that the man of God may be complete. This is a, where he's equipping us. He wants us complete. Yeah. And in that word, perfect, it's, it's a perfect in the, in, in the regular King James. But uh-huh. that word means complete. So he wants a, not necessarily sinless perfection, but he wants completeness out of you. He yes. wants everything yes. that's within you. He wants that capacity out of that 90 to come out yes. of you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, there's, there's one last thing as I, as I take my seat and give it to my beloved. Uh-huh. Well, it's uh, the one thing I had messed up with our car. Hmm? But the Lord took us, I had messed up, but I got it right in the sense that when I went to a dealership, it was called the right way. <laughs> so God meant for us to get this right. Yeah. Well, even in our courting time, he wanted us to do it right. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. if anybody out there that's looking for a mate, you gotta do it right. Yeah. You gotta do it right. I mean, we didn't stay together. We didn't sleep together. On, we didn't, we, but we kept it right. That's right, that's right. Yeah. We done it holy, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta get it right. Get it right. You gotta get it right. Because, because even though I went to the right way, the Lord told us to, to go in the right direction. Yeah. So we went to a place that said the right way. Uh-huh. And, in, and in that, I went myself in the right way. Yeah. Then the Bible says, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Uh-huh. So which way are you going to go? Uh-huh. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God is equipping us for his divine alignment. Yes. Let's get it right. Yes. God has been preparing us here at Flame of Fire to go the right way, which is God's way. This second book of Timothy is what Paul's last letter was about for Timothy, the church, and for us Christians today. This year, God has been intentional with each individual here in their own state of mind. Uh God's word has been coming across the pulpit, in the classes, in our own time with God. Mm -hmm. This whole chapter is a great example of the word of what is going on here at Flame of Fire for this season. Look at your neighbor and say, let's Let's get this thing right. Get this thing right. At the beginning of this chapter, Paul is telling Timothy that that in these last days, it is going to be difficult times. Well, are yes, we not in yes. difficult times? Uh, Hallelujah. People are loving themselves, mm, yeah. being boastful and proud, mm. 
being disobedient to parents, ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. That's they right. will be unforgiving. Yes, yes. And they will have no self-control. Yes. Anybody have any problem with self-control? This is what is going on in people's lives now. These are the last days, but God has seen fit to bless us in these last days to get the proper instructions uh -huh. through his word yes. from our parents. Yes. Pastors Tim and Renee Hall. Uh -huh. So let's not be disobedient to our parents. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, let's, let's get this thing right. Get get this thing right. right. Paul was alone in prison. All alone. And his last thought was, I need to get the truth out so that people can know who and what all God had for them. Yes. He did not think about himself. Uh -huh. What do you do when you are all alone or going in a lonely place? When you are in the dark, in the dirt, uh -huh. or your back against the wall. Uh -huh. Come on, let's tell the truth to yourself so we can get this thing right and live yeah. and not die yeah. when we have we have followed the instructions from God and people and he placed us in the that who he placed in our path I have been saying I have a saying that I use and I have been helping that has been helping me and I have been sharing with others mm -hmm. and it is three simple words do the opposite. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Three simple words. Do the opposite. Three simple words. Do the opposite. Look at your neighbor and say, let's get this thing right. For me, to get this thing right, I have to do the opposite. I am one that usually is quiet. I sit quiet. Don't say nothing. Will ask, won't ask questions. Sometime in a small area, sometime in a big group. So for this time, I would have so many questions or things to say, but because I've been rejected in my past, I just be quiet because I don't want to be openly rejected in front of everyone. Wrong in this season. Do the opposite. Do the opposite. Doing the opposite of what I have would have done normally in the past has saved my life. Because the because with me opening up, I am able to apply God's instructions from his word. The word instruction means direction or order. Yeah. Trust yeah. in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not, Lean not Lean to not. my own understanding. Yes. In the process of me listening and talking and taking time to pray and talk with God, mm -hmm. just as Paul was giving <coughs> Timothy instructions to pass on to the church and the Christians, God is giving our pastors instructions to help us in these last days. Mm -hmm. They are teaching us what is wrong in our lives and giving us the word of God and make a crooked way straight yes. in our life so that we can live and not die. Yes, yes, Amen. yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hallelujah. Yeah, you're doing good. Keep it. What does that look like? Take, <laughs> taking a chance and doing the opposite of what you have done most of your life. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, Doing uh -huh. the, opposite the opposite of what you have done most of your life. Yeah. That's why now oh, some of us that. are still tired. Come on, yeah. Some of us are still getting nowhere. Well. Nowhere. Uh -huh. okay. Same place, same channel, same time. Well. Nothing's changed. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Still miserable, mm -hmm. still hurt, and now, it is making its way to your children. Oh Don't sow the wrong seed into your children's oh lives. Do you not know 
your children reap what you sow. Do the opposite and let's get this right. During one of my meditation moments, which I've had a lot of them, <laughs> during one of my meditation moments, I asked God to help me understand why some people are having it so hard. You got to admit, these last days, things come out of nowhere. Yeah. Out of nowhere, unexpected. We got things going right, <laughs> things is going good, and then wham! Yeah. Where did that come from? Right, right, right. Yep. Yeah. He said, they don't like correction. I said, huh? He said, they don't like correction. But he said to me, no matter what, I am bringing complete correction in my kingdom. Yes, yes. I said, Lord, we receive your correction for our lives and our family's lives. And all I can hear, there is correction in God's correction. Mm -hmm. There is. Yes. There is correction yes. in God's correction. Yes. When God is correcting you, he is also correcting everything yes. about you. Yes. And that concerneth you. But we must receive the correction for our lives to be corrected. Think about it, your life. Correcting the way you carry yourself, correcting the way you think, mm -hmm. correcting your surroundings, yes, yes. the people you hang around, yes. where you live, changing your talk, yeah. the way you talk. Yeah. Yeah. God is correcting everything that concerns you yes. because you are made in his image. That's right, that's right. Look at your neighbor and say, less. Yes. Yes. Get this right. Get this right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. For such a time as this, God seemed fit for some misfits to come together and fulfill a purpose that will make a difference in many people's lives and help cover them and empower them, restore, strengthen to disciple through preaching and teaching of the Word of God. Yes. Paul told us it was going to be hard. All these distractions will come, but we follow God's word through our leaders. Is He is equipping and preparing us to do every good work in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Also, as we allow God to correct those areas in our lives that need corrected, we are not far from allowing ourselves to be completely connected. Mm. Yes, divine alignment. Yes. Completely connected. Yes. Mm. Yes. Completely. Completely connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God gave me a visual. When he showed me these two words, and I want you to picture these words. Corrected and connected. Mm. Mm -hmm. He said. The way you will know particular areas in your life have been completely corrected, you have received and allowed the correction to be correct. You will be connected with him and no desire to go back. Come on. Mm. He said, the way you will know a particular area. You know, we have many areas that need corrected in our lives. Yeah, yeah. The way you will know a particular area in your life has been co completely, completely, completely corrected. Yeah. And you have received and allowed the correction uh -huh. to be correct. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You will be connected with him and no desire to go back. Amen. Yes. Yes. No desire to go back. So let's get this right so we can be connected and in complete divine alignment with our purpose in the will of God. Take the word correct 
Look at the word connect. Uh -huh. The only difference is the R and the N. Uh -huh. It just goes down a little. You only got a short way to be connected. You just got to stay connected with God. Distractions come yes. to try to take you off focus. Yes. Yes. So the way that you stay connected, you stay around the people, the teaching, you change your atmosphere, you change the way you talk. We are being taught here at Flame of Fire. They are truly equipping us for this walk, for this journey. This Close. Yeah, on, this yeah, close. Yeah. This close to being connected to where you don't have to turn back. Uh, this close. It's only a second. Sometimes that's all it takes is for a second for you to jump off. Because that thing come and you be like, what happened? And it just throw you all off. Yeah. Yeah. Throw you all off. Yeah. But remember the three words. Do the opposite. Yeah. It's easier said than done. Yes, it is. But when you get used to doing it, it becomes easy. Yes. Think about where you want you and your family to go. I have a heart for the children. These babies watch everything that we do. Yes, they do. That second yeah. can make a difference in their life. Yes, can. That second can make a difference in their life. Do the opposite, if not for you, for your babies. Yes, yes. You don't want them to reap what you sowing. Yes. Because they will. Oh, yes, okay. Some kind of way, yes. they will reap what you sow. They will. Yes, they will. So why not do the opposite now and let them grow up learning, I'm going to do the opposite like mommy, like daddy. We are, God is working with us to be in a divine alignment with him. Yes, yes. Why not pick to be happy on God's side? Yes. He's the one we run to anyway when it's all said and done. He's the one that we be like, Lord, just make this pass by. So why not stick with him from the beginning? Yeah. This close. This close. This close. Sometimes our life would seem like it just takes a long time. But really look back. Me and Bobby was talking while we was doing this and, and, and working together. And you did good, baby. Hi, Bobby. Yes. <laughs> that old man is always around. Yeah. Yeah. Always around. Yeah. It might be areas that you have conquered. But there's still areas that that old man stay around. Yeah. Actually, that old man never dies. He never dies. Because that old man always got something. Because you got to remember, your past, you done some stuff. And you don't be delivered from everything right away. Don't be delivered from everything right away. That's why you got to constantly stay in this word. Stay praying stay and stay connected. Stay connected. Yes. Your correction is a process. But it's you that pick the process. He's willing and able and he's right there. But you can pick your process. This much to be connected. This much. So which way are you going to go? We're going to get this thing right? Look at your neighbor. Let's get, Let's get this thing right. Drop the mic. Hallelujah. 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 H
Truly, we stick together. Amen. We work with you through it. 